My name's Alicia, and I have an aphid problem. So a couple weeks ago, I had gotten a few clearance succulents. They weren't in the best of shape, and I mean, clearance succulents, they're a blessing and a curse. Yeah, you can get a succulent for really, really cheap, but it also, there's a reason it's on clearance. Either it's not looking too good, or there's something going on. So I had gotten these succulents for a dollar each, which was awesome because they were nice, big sized succulents. And I had repotted them. I had topped them off to reroute the tops because they were getting atoliated. And then I took the bottom leaves and I was going to propagate the leaves and then I replanted the stem. Well, when I was doing that, I noticed that these had aphids. Yay! Gross. Super disgusting. I mean, I know that aphids aren't the worst thing that you could have in your plants, but they still kind of grossed me out. So when I was, you know, cutting these apart, getting them all cleaned up, I had started cleaning up some of the aphids on the individual leaves that I was taking off to propagate and got distracted, my own fault, forgot to come back and finish cleaning them off of the leaves that, you know, I was gonna propagate because, yeah, that's what I do. I forget things. Kid was cranky. I was like, I'll come back to these. It's no problem. So I'd set these succulents away from the rest of my propagating succulents and the rest of my plants in my craft room slash plant room, just in case little sap suckers decided they wanted to hop plants on me. And I'm glad I did that because, like I said, completely forgot to go back to clean the rest of them off. So now that my leaves are starting to propagate and grow little babies and nice little roots, I went back to check on them and went, uh, uh oh, oops. So I'm gonna go through and manually clean off those little step sucking little suckers uh, as best I can from the leaves and from the tops of the succulents. And then I'm just gonna spray the rest of them with a solution of dish soap and water and hopefully the problem is been curbed so as you can see hopefully there's one of those lovely little sap suckers on a new little baby off the succulent leaf and then this is was a top or was a offshoot of one of the succulents that I had cut off and I had completely set aside and completely forgot about him. So you can kind of see, I mean, it's kind of an issue. So we're gonna go through and manually just wipe off all of these lovely little critters. And then I'm gonna spray him down as well. And you can see he's getting some roots already. Yeah, they're disgusting. So what aphids do is they will go through and attach to the leaves and they will suck the sap out of your plant, either, you know, the plant stem or the actual leaves like it's doing with this succulent. So all I'm going to do with this is I have a Q-tip. I'm just going to spray a little bit of that Dawn dish soap and water solution on it. And I am just going to go through and I'm going to gently, gently just wipe any aphids off. And I can see, and I think that was the only one on this, this guy. Um, this one, the one with the really bad infestation, I'm going to completely soak him with the water in dish soap and then I'm going to go through with a q-tip oops and I'm just gonna go back through with the q-tip and wipe off as many as possible without breaking off the leaves oh so disgusting look at that that is so gross so yeah so yeah that's one thing that you have to watch for yes like I said 
Clear and succulents are nice, but nothing that is cheap or just because it's cheap doesn't mean it's always a good deal. So I got off as many of the aphids off of this little guy as I could. Um, another way that you can get these off, especially down in the little cracks of the growing rosette down in there is to rinse it off with a, a like steady stream of water. You don't want it to be so strong that it's knocking the leaves off left and right, uh, but just strong enough that it's getting those aphids off. And then you can go through again with your dish soap and water and just to make sure that everything is gone, everything is dead because you don't want these guys coming back. Um, yeah. If you guys ever had an aphid issue, uh, what did you do to remedy yours? Let me know in the comments. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know and I will keep you updated to see if any of these guys come back or, or if it was a total clean out. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. My husband's making himself lunch and the smoke alarm just went off and so he grabbed it and just stuck it outside because he knew I was filming. <laughs>